Hey guys, it's me, Phoenix. We are here to do a general read to see where your energy is. Please do me a favor, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Remember, red hearts, you made it through. Purple hearts, it resonates. Green hearts, you're working on it. Yellow hearts, you rock with me. Got my six, me to have my back because I have yours. So, um, what we are going to do is pull from the yin yang oracle and we are going to see what your energy is you guys i can't stress enough to like share subscribe i just seen masculine i just seen the divine masculine i just saw a hoodie and i just before i started shuffling i made sure all of my cards were upright and i just seen the blue hoodie so i don't know if you guys saw that too but yeah i just saw that so i'm gonna go through and see if i see it again because there is heavy masculine energy in your chart if that's the case or am i tripping yeah, I swear I just saw it, but, um, okay, maybe I didn't, maybe I didn't, I swear I just saw it, it was the blue, it is the blue hoodie, look at that, I knew I just saw the blue hoodie, which is masculine energy, so there you have it, there's heavily, heavy masculine energy, um, going on right now, um, you are making decisions, you are being, strong you are dealing with a masculine um who at one point you had to, you surrendered to you released or you surrendered or there was some type of purge when it came to this situation you guys um that was pretty weird uh how that came out because i had just turned all my cards over yeah um you release the energy and there's some type of union that's uh, bound to happen but it's not based on you it's based on divine timing i don't know what the weather is doing right now it was like 80 degrees, 90 degrees yesterday, and today is storm and rain. And um, transcend, and I'm in the desert. Transcend, unity, shadow side, moon, and dark night of the soul. So somebody, this masculine energy, went through a dark night of the soul, and now they're on. T they're coming out of it, and um, now you know there is going to be uh, more energies uh, to be determined. And so, yeah, a rebirth and the reverse lack of clarity. I'm not going to take these cards, but at the bottom of the deck, it's um, toxicity bound and patterns. This person didn't realize how toxic they were, and now they want to apologize. I guess that's how we can see it there. Now they want to apologize because of their toxicity, and you have it all in your hand. They had some type of dark night of the soul, which caused them to really open their eyes in regards to the clarity that um, the lack of clarity that they had or their third eye chakra being closed, and now there's a rebirth. So they're um, realizing the toxicity that they caused you, and now they want to apologize, like I said before. Um, I am going to pull from this tarot deck to see what comes out. Let's clarify this masculine and see what energy comes out when it comes to this masculine energy and also release what comes out. But right now we're talking about the masculine. Um, masculine comes with the Queen of Pentacles. So this energy, when it comes to this nice-looking um, person, somebody who you consider very dominant, very, uh, and you guys, you know, my niece is on maternity leave, so my nails look a mess. Um, in a minute, I'm going to put my press-ons on. I haven't had them on in a while, so I'm going to cut my nails off and put them on, but um, she'll be back soon. So anyway, Queen of Pentacles. Uh, Queen of Pentacles, like JDS Tarot says, the Queen of Pentacles can be toxic to herself, and when it comes to somebody who um, is all the attraction is there. They keep up themselves. They have this like, woo, je ne sais quoi. <laughs> I was, I had pulled that in my reading a couple of last week sometime, but the queen of Pentacles says a loving family is one of the greatest blessings in life, protect and care for them. No matter what that, no matter what can be toxic because you will do anything when it comes to you being in your feminine. And, um, sometimes with the masculine energies, uh, heavy masculine energies, uh, they can be toxic because um, the way that they see the cars trying to come out as the Knight of Swords, yeah, they can be toxic. And so you had to release and um, release uh, this energy and um, be tough, be ambitious, know what you want, go after it in a single-minded determination. This is the doctor uh, fighting for the cause. But uh, Swords energy, air energy, pinnacles energy, excuse me, which is earth energy, you know, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, you had to be the one to nurture and do everything. So 
when it comes to the Queen of Pentacles being here, it seems to me like, of course, we do anything because we're able to, we're um, like Queen Amon Ra says, we're the, um, you know, the, the mother of the Zodiac. We are the, um, you know, like the financial person. We will give wholeheartedly without expecting to receive the same ourselves and so when it comes to the toxicity and um of a person and them not really realizing how toxic they were um and now they want a union it's something that you made them realize when you released their energy we're going to clarify this union yeah you made them realize this energy when you released their uh, when you released them you made them realize and realize that a union and unity is one you know so they had to basically and these are two twins uh, here. So you had to, you guys were reflecting, uh, yeah, on the memories, the blessings, you know, the nostalgia, the love. So the union uh, comes with them realizing what real love is, you know. Um, sex ain't better than love. And, you know, that's kind of how I see it. And with the unity, they want to come together or they didn't realize how you guys were mirroring each other. You wanted love. You wanted stability. They wanted stability. Um, not love, but, you know, uh, King of Swords energy, the King of Swords. Um, I just moved this card deck from over there. That's why that fell. But the King of Swords energy is somebody who is very, um, you know, has, has clarity, has the power, has the authority, and is very truth telling when it comes to certain situations. But when it came to you guys mirroring that, now you're mirroring this energy. You set the boundaries and now you have to make the decisions. But Again, when it comes to making the decisions to a pinnacle's energy, two years you've been trying to make a decision on the type of boundary to set with this person. You have all of this past love energy, um, Six of Cups energy. Um, you have this past love and this past uh, attraction when it comes to mem remembering things. And if you look in the background, you see that shadow of an old guy um, and you see the kids here. Can you see that shadow of an old guy walking in the house? Um, this is what they will be if they don't really make it or, or make things happen and do the work and, uh, you know, go through here, go through this dark night of the soul. And so the universe is a mysterious energy. It's, it, it makes you face your fears and it makes you remember the past and it made them be able to remember it. So they went through this dark night of the soul. And now here it is when you set the boundaries and you had to be firm and strong and make a decision to sail away, to move away. The shadow side comes out with them having to reflect about the conflicts that were there and why you had them and yeah why you were able to manifest everything else but the conflicts were so strong that you couldn't even um deal with this or bear with it anymore you know five of wands energy you know you just had to kind of you know say you know what i'm not in competition with you we're gonna agree to disagree and i'm gonna walk away and now they want to apologize the third eye chakra is here and it's in the reverse so that means it's closed they had to do a dark night of the soul in order to get some clarity because before it was only their way or the highway the card comes out page of cups energy so you know page of cups is like basically going after dreams surprises things like that but you know, with the Page of Cups being here, you had to really take this, the time. They had to really take the time to see what opportunities and the love that they have for you. And now they want a new beginning. And that's with the rebirth in the winter time. So, yeah, look at this moon card comes out with the rebirth. Um, yeah, because they realized the burdens that they called you, Ten of Wands, and now they want to communicate. So maybe in the winter time they're going to communicate. But if you ask me, summertime is the best time to communicate because they know that's when you are going to get on your shit and really be outside, outside, right? So they want love. They want to communicate about love. Ace of Cups energy, Eight of Wands energy is communication. The Ten of Wands is burdens. And the King of Wands energy is basically um, somebody who uh, can, um, um, how do I want to say, overcome the challenges and uh, basically lead. And even though there are fears here and uh, they're not sure what the universe will be. Um, yeah, they're overthinking the situation, overthinking if you're going to forgive them or not. So um, they have to be able to approach you. you. You've already done all the work. You had to surrender and move forward. And so when it comes to dealing with the person, place, thing, or situation, you had to go and um, uh, remove your energy. And that was a hurtful thing. I'm going to pull from the True Emotions deck to see what's going on. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 
they realized the conflict and they also realized that with the magician energy, this is you being yourself. They had to go to the dark side because the conflict came from them, not from you. You were yourself and you had to, and they had to reflect that, you know, and they need to be themselves, uh, not be themselves, but um, what is it? Unlearn to relearn hierophant energy, you know, change their belief system on that my way or the highway in order to have any type of unity. And again, you're showing them something different. Yeah. A love message. They're going to come with you with a love message and you are the one that's going to have to be able to accept it. They realize you're the queen bee and yeah, they had to heal from a situation because the toxicity is there. They want to apologize. They've been praying on the situation, faith, healing, and meditation. Um, now they feel trapped in whatever it is. And the wishes come again with the page of cups energy going after their dreams, your dreams, mirroring comes out with the transcending that you are the queen, uh, queen bee. You're confident, you're secure. This queen of pentacles energy and also, excuse me, queen of wands energy. And also you're very career focused and career oriented and just very securing, whether it be mental, physical, spiritual, and emotional. You're a very person. You're a person who is able to nurture certain situations. These are two different card decks, but these decks reflect. Doesn't mean you look like this in at, um, at all, but just means that you're very confident with the way that things need to be you know, and the way that you are. But at some point, this person made you question your confidence. And so they, you just had to kind of walk away. So they feel trapped. You felt trapped. Like there was no, there was not going to be any other. Yeah. Broken. Yeah. Broken. And then we have resistance. So, uh, yeah, you felt trapped and you were shattered. You felt like, you know, they broke your heart, you know, and they destroyed you. But at that same time now, you know, um, it made you feel timid as well. And the heart fog is here. Mixed sigil, signals, blocked emotions, and messed up. They're realizing that they messed up, so they have to try to win you over and try to be able to get um, back into your good graces. And, um, again, that's totally up to you. I'm going to pull from the emotions deck to see what emotions come out for you. You know, it's just hard when people kind of burn you and you've done everything you can yeah, you're proud right now where you are. You feel accomplished when you surrender to the divine. You felt accomplished, and now they're curious about what it is that you're doing and how you're doing it and why cancer is all so happy. And it's because you were working on yourself, and that is how I see that. I'm going to pull from the Twin Flame Karmic and uh, Soulmate um, Oracle to see what comes out. But, yeah, you you have basically done everything you can when it comes to trying to surrender to this person and you just realize that no matter how much you you give no matter how much you do yeah protective um no matter how much you give no matter how much you do you know forgiveness again um it'll never be enough to somebody who hasn't uh, whose third eye is blocked who doesn't really see your worth and it says sorry here and again this came out of my read the other day um it says your twin either wants to apologize or it's time um, that you release the past and forgive them for what they've done. This will help you heal from the past. And this is a part of the things that you need to heal from because, again, it's not that you don't love this person. The thing is, is that you had to release them and uh, surrender to the divine and also be tough at the same time. And it took a lot of purging for you to get to this point because you were heartbroken. Protect protective is here. It says this is the relationship you will feel protected and safe. That's how they feel. And they realize that now. Both of you will love each other immensely that uh, you will fear losing one another. And so now they fear losing you because, again, you had to show them what life was like without you, you know. And so it's a hard pill to swallow, but there's nothing else that you can do but either accept the apology and move forward. Um, I'm going to pull from the purposeful career to see what comes out, what you've been working on. But right now you're proud of your accomplishments. You've evolved from a situation and. Here it is, amusement and transformation. Yeah, a butterfly. So the amusement says uh, you have a natural, you have natural talents you can share with the world. It's time to make money from them just, uh, while having a good time, just being you. So this is what you're doing. You're being you with whatever you're doing. But that took transformation, and that's why you're proud of yourself. You're doing something that nobody else would support, but only you. And it says change is. Change is coming for the for a brand new you. Embrace the transformation to enjoy um, the process. Sometimes change is uncomfortable, but um, but worth it. And so again, the resistance, all of the broken energies. You know, thank this person. No man is your enemy. No man is your friend. Every man is your uh, 
teacher, this person, place, thing, or situation was here to teach you a lesson. And it says you may be getting uh, too emotional at the moment that you are losing control of your career and finances. Stand up for, stand up and come back stronger. And so that's what you're doing. And that's where this was causing you to feel weak. And, you know, just like you had to make a decision because it was too toxic for you to keep putting your feelings into it and feeling trapped and, you know, feeling like you know that this energy has the potential to be better. But again, you're losing your confidence and the universe is here to remind you. That's why I told you to surrender to the divine and release this energy. And remember, I tell you, sin, strength, and healing because nine times out of 10, sin and strength and healing will, you know, uh, send you your like kind or, uh, or it will heal this person and make them go through the dark nights of the soul. It's not wishing bad or karma on them. It's just letting them know what life is like without you, uh, a true divine person and a true honest, loving and, and being yourself a quirky person, which is fun. And they realize that. And now that it's gone, you know, they want it back. So again, they want you to forgive them, you know? So that is how I see this energy. You've evolved from this situation. I'll pull one more card deck from the evolution of the soul because they're sorry, but how they come back is what is going to determine everything, if that makes sense. And so again, hold on. Oh, I thought a card turned over. Yeah. How they come back is how they're going to make everything uh, turn around. And so you just have to know that, you know, you've done your best at the end of the day and you have to be able to, yeah, figure out your soul purpose. And that's a part of the transformation you had to have. It says soul birthing process, discover your soul's purpose, unfolding your unique abilities. And so the lone wolf, yeah, solitude will be your greatest ally. It says uh, living a meaningful life as a loner. It says road to success, success will be lonely. And that's why you're so proud of yourself because you, you bottled up your feelings, you, you know, you try to forgive and let go, but this doesn't mean forever. Um, the death energy is this basically it, a transformation. It says, um, where's the death energy at? I always say, I, I have it in my head. The tower and the death energy is basically good. Um, embrace change and let go of what no longer serves you. Death isn't the end. It's a transformation that brings new beginnings. These are new beginnings. And the tower energy says sometimes you need to tear down the limiting structures you have built for yourself to re be reborn, better, stronger, and wiser. And that is when you found your soul purpose by the heartbreak. So heartbreak did cause you, your, cause you to find your soul purpose. So thank them. Let's go ahead and pull from the four agreements and then we'll pull from the crystal deck. Um, yeah, but I just believe that don't make, don't take anything personal. Yeah. You can't take it personal. It says embrace your freedom. And that's what you had to do was embrace your freedom. I was going to say there was a card here with somebody was flying. I don't know where, why I saw that somewhere, but anyway, it, at least I thought it was, it said, it, it says embrace your freedom. So let's just talk about it. It says, um, you gain a huge amount of freedom when you take nothing personally. No spells can affect you regardless of how strong it may be. So all that sending karma, all that, st no. Send strength and healing, period. Because if you are if you know that at the end of the day you've done your best, you know you're doing your best, nobody can send anything your way. You have to be able to have all of everything, all your, you know, is it your guards up? No, it's the boundaries of what you're willing to accept. That energies, those energies, if you're not willing to accept those energies, can't nobody put that on you. But as soon as somebody says, I did this or makes you, you start overthinking and taking things personally of what somebody else did, then they have control over your mind and what happens to you. And that's where people think karma is. No, karma comes when you least expect it. All of the negative talk, all of those things. It cannot happen if you don't put it in your brain to allow it to happen. So you just have to release and let go and send strength and healing because hurt people hurt people. And sometimes people think that, okay, um, I'm dealing with this. This person is hurt. No, you got to let them deal with their own things. The only thing you can do is send strength and healing, period. That's it. I learned that from the game of life and how to play it, the four agreements. And um, uh, learning about your chakras, your birth charts, things like that, all of those things the way you, you deal with emotions, those are the way that you um, kind of, you know, set the standards uh, in order to live your life and not let things affect you on what somebody says. Because 
opinions are like assholes. Everybody else have them. And what you think of me, I don't think of myself that way unless I keep listening to everything or, or feeling like I wonder if this person is. No, you can't do that to me. <laughs> it doesn't affect me. None of these things you do move me. It doesn't move me. Equivalent to what you eat don't make me shit. Does that make sense? And so... I don't know. Let's read this. Uh, let's start over. It says you gain a huge amount of freedom when you take nothing personally. No spell can affect you regardless of how strong it may be. And if you live without fear, if you love, you will be happy with your life. And that is why you don't take things personally and let nobody control your mental. Uh, the Kuzanite. I keep picking these cards. But anyway, the heart chakra, it must meant to come out. Unconditional love, contemplation and introspection. It's meant. Because this is unconditional love. You know this person for who they are. You saw the potential in them. You saw what they're capable of doing or what, what they can be capable of doing. And you, you know, stuck around. And now you're marrying their energy uh, by being tough. And so now it's just time for you to release and let go of the pain, the hurt, and to forgive. You know, a lot of people can't move forward when they can't forgive a situation. But even if you have to forgive in the 5D by sending strength and healing, God bless wherever, you know, God bless such and such wherever they are. Whatever you got going on, I send I, I send blessings your way. I salute the divinity in you. If you listen to the game of life and how to play it, it makes sense. You're saluting the divinity no matter who it is, you know. You're not letting anybody take control of your mental. So it says, I release outer influences and am filled with love. So it was meant for this to come out. I release outer influences and am filled with love. So let's let this old energy go. I now let go of worn out conditions of lack, doubt, hate, negativity, procrastination, stagnation, sadness, generational curses, debt, bad energies, heartbreak, bad health, and addictions. Remember, addictions can be to a person, place, thing, or a situation. I love you guys.